they say that the older we get, the wiser we get, but oftentimes some of life's lessons can be harder to learn than others. And recently a user on Quora asked readers, what was the hardest pill they ever had to swallow? Examples range from realizing your role in negative things that happened to you or accepting that you'll just never get the apology you want from someone. So ladies, what's the hardest life pill you've had to swallow as you've gotten older? That life keeps changing. I think for me is letting go and not feeling like you can control everything because it's ever changing. Nothing great stays forever, nothing bad stays forever. So I think it's really being able to let go and go with the ebb and flow of life. For me, it would definitely be when someone shows you who they are, you really have to believe them. And I think There's when I was too. younger, I really always wanted to see the best in people. And I think when I was a lot younger, I just, I believed that, you know, that people could change, which I still do. But there is something to be said for really recognizing the core of who somebody is, the character that they really are, and, um, and accepting that and moving on. I yeah. have to realize that I can't be Captain save a hoe I mean, I used to try to save every damn thing, every day. And as you get older, you realize, and it's kind of like what you were saying, Garcelle, what's going to happen is going to happen. If you yep. can't control it, if it's not in your control, then it's like, right. you know what? Stop trying to put on that cape and save every damn body. You, you got to focus on yourself and what you can control. And that's what I have learned as a, as a hard pill. Cause it, it kind of, it kind of goes into what, even what you're saying much. Can you, you want to believe everybody is right. You want to believe right. that everybody you is could. good. You got to act people accordingly. World, they going to lie. They going to cheat. They going to steal. They going to whatever. All you can do is tell them, don't do that. And then you got to, you got to go on. You can't get all caught up in that. And so, but it's, it, when you're young, you're taught to like life is no it's beautiful it's pure and then when it start hitting at you you like dang you know and you don't want to believe it and then you, that it can start that's why a lot of people start getting on drugs and they start going drinking and they start doing other things because they can't handle the reality that everybody is not there and life is not going to be the exactly the way you're supposed to you think it's supposed right. to be so you right. have to learn how to adjust to it and as you get older that's why I always say, I think when you get in your 40s and your 50s, that, that's your prime. If you get there, that's your prime. And you really appreciate life because you, you know what you've been through. And you know how to handle it a lot better. That's my opinion. Yep. I think that um, as you get older, you start to really design what environment you want. And hopefully it's one that you want to put back out positive energy, you wanna be as honest as possible, you wanna be as, um, as loving and, and community driven to keep your neighborhood and your small circle of your friends, whatever. They keep it all positive, right? And then there's just some people where they've got their own perspective on how life should be for them and, and, and you can't go into controlling how that person should live their life. You shouldn't even, I don't even think wasting time to speak into it. I think when people make a decision on how they want their life, you just got to know yep. now, okay, how do you navigate yourself so that it doesn't deter you from your own spirit? It doesn't change you on the way you look at the world and it doesn't change your actions on how you want your environment to be. You know, um, we're right. so responsible yep. for our community. And even in today's world, when you look at, how people, I, I think people naturally after the pandemic and after social media has exposed to us how much ugly there is in the world, people have become very guarded and now they're kind of sticking to their own selves. There has to be a balance where we still, yes, create boundaries to protect yourself and to protect your family, but don't give up on being that good hearted, honest person that you are. Still give off those vibes and still maintain that so that we all can look at each other and still take each other for who we are. Yeah. And I think that's, that's what we try to message. do on this show. That's why we try to give out certain information. I'm really proud of this show for like what we did for the election season. I think we gave the right information to try to give, make sure that people were informed. We did the same thing with the vaccines. And that's what we'll, we'll keep trying to do, you know, is, is actually we try to, I think this show is built so that we try to make your life a, better, you know, but also there comes a time when you realize all you can do is give people the information. Either they can accept it or they can just reject it. But you can't let it eat you up if they don't. You can't say that, that mm -hmm. the information wasn't out there.